Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very happy and productive week. And today's video is one I'm really, really looking forward to sharing with you guys. So if you're not following me on Instagram already at Study with Jess, you should definitely go follow me. But if you aren't, then you wouldn't have known. I posted up a photo on my account about a week or two ago. And it was a photo of a vision board that I DIY'd for my room. And I got such beautiful comments and feedback and also a lot of requests that I actually turn that into a DIY video and show you guys how I made a vision board. So I really wanted to not only show you guys how to make a vision board, but also talk to you about why I think vision boards are so beneficial and can really help you in steering you towards really achieving and manifesting your dreams and whatever it is that you want out of life. So I strongly believe that all of our thoughts and words have real power and probably more power than we actually give them credit for. And I actually read a quote recently which said, where attention goes, energy flows. So it's all about focusing our attention on what we want out of life and then we're more likely to actually achieve it. And whether you wanna think of it on a more logical level and say, if I'm constantly reminding myself of what I want out of life, then I'm going to remind myself of my goals and I'm more likely to not forget about them, be more motivated to achieve them and therefore succeed. And then there's other people that might wanna think about it on more of a spiritual level saying that our words really do have power and what we say in the present tense, we're actually creating on a subconscious level. So however you want to take it, I think vision boards are a fantastic way to remind ourselves of what we want out of life, to help us achieve success in life. And it's just a fantastic exercise to do as well. And it's such a beautiful piece to display in your room or in your homes. So I've got mine displayed above my desk in the study and I'm constantly adding to it and changing things up. But I wanted to talk you guys through how I made my vision board and how you can make one for yourself. And it's really easy and it was really cheap as well. So hope you enjoy the little DIY part of this video as well as just the talking through it. So when it came time to design my vision board, the first thing I ended up doing before I actually got all of the supplies and all the beautiful images that you then see displayed on my board, I actually sat down and thought about what I wanted out of the next year of my life, what I wanted to see happen and I made sure to think about the different values that I have and the different things that I place importance on as well. So family, friends, health, my career, my purpose in life, all those sort of things. So I made sure to write those down on a piece of paper and then I wrote out a paragraph in present tense as if I was actually a year from now experiencing everything that I wanted to have happen. So instead of saying something like, I want to be healthier in a year's time, or I want to be fitter, I wrote down, I am fit and I am healthy and I'm really, really happy about where I am in life. So I really encourage you guys to think about where you want to be in a year's time and then write out a little paragraph. It doesn't have to be long as long as you've addressed everything that you want to have happen in the next year and write it down as if it's already happened. Because like I said, your thoughts really do have a lot of power. Then once I had all of that down, I ended up typing it out and printing it just on a normal standard A4 white piece of paper. It doesn't have to be anything too special, but I ended up then going and spending, I spent an entire day on Pinterest. I actually made a separate secret folder where I was searching for a bunch of different images that reflected all of the things that I had addressed in my one year vision. So I found some beautiful photos of interior design that I really want my home to look like and I found photos of healthy food and of people that are really happy and I also found photos to do with Los Angeles and YouTube because that's some stuff that I'm focusing on with my career as well and I made sure to put them all into a folder and then I ended up printing them all off and cutting them out so that I could display it on my vision board. So the thing that I used to display all of my images as well as my one year vision statement or paragraph, I ended up getting it from a hardware store and it was about $15. It's not chicken wire, but it's this metal frame or lattice and you can get them at any hardware store. They were really common and they come in different sizes. So I ended up choosing one that I felt would fit nicely above my desk. And also that it had some squares that were large enough for me to then clip or peg all of those photos onto as well because some of them have really tiny squares so you want to make sure that they're fairly large maybe about three by three centimeters and then I ended up just hanging that on my wall 
So as you look at my vision board, you can see that I've got a little section in the top left hand corner that really portrays what I want to be achieving with my career in the next year. I've got a section about health and fitness and lifestyle and just being a lot more well-rounded and living a well-balanced life. So I've got a beautiful quote about meditation and yoga as well. I've got a section for my home and a section for my relationship and my family and my friends. And then right in the middle, so that I see it all the time and you can't miss it, I've pegged my one-year vision statement. And honestly, every time that I sit down at my desk to work, I'm reminded of what's really important to me and what I want out of my life. And I'm not going to compromise on that. And it's really fantastic just to see that I'm actually making better choices in life as well. Even just little things like I take more time to prepare a healthier lunch now because I constantly see those photos and I'm thinking I really should probably make something better than just a sandwich with peanut butter, something more nutritious for my body. If that's what I want to achieve, if I want to be healthier, then that's what I've got to do. So it really does motivate me and inspire me to just make better choices. So if you guys do make your own vision board, then please send me some photos. You can tag me on Instagram at studywithjess or use the hashtag studywithjess too. And I just really want to know what you guys think of vision boards, if you've ever made one before. And yeah, I'd just love to see what you guys make for your rooms as well and just get your thoughts on this. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, then thumbs up to let me know and show me some love. And also if you guys aren't subscribed, please do subscribe down below. And yeah, if you guys want some more videos like this where I just let you in a little bit more into my life and share with you some different things that I might be implementing on a day-to-day -day basis that I think might be valuable and relevant to you guys, then please let me know in the comment box below. I never really thought that anyone would be very interested in vision boards, but I really loved all the feedback I was getting. And yeah, it's just something that I really value. And I've been making vision boards for ages, but I actually haven't had one in this apartment. So that's all for today's video. If you want to check out some previous videos, then click the cards up there. And I'll also leave a link to my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide, down below as well. So you can check that out too. And there's also a bunch of different tips on how to stay happy and positive and enjoy school and studying and stress less in my book as well. So I hope you find that helpful. And until Friday for my question of the week video, have a very happy and productive week. Bye guys.